Welcome to UV Physics Academy. So here we are discussing the solutions of uh, quantum computation. So in this problem, they have given uh, two systems, two A and B. Okay. So let us suppose this is the system A, which is having a, a pure state A. And let us suppose another system is there B, which is having a, a pure state uh, B. So B is the pure state of uh, B and ket a is the pure state of a then what we can write we can write the density operator corresponding to a is nothing but the outer product of a and the density operator corresponding to b is nothing but the outer product of b now he is he is asking about the composite system a and b that means uh, the combined system of uh, a and b for example if you take this uh, combined system a b let us say this is the composite system a b now we have to take the density operator corresponding to the combined system a b stands for composite system okay so this is nothing but this is a row of a tensor row of b okay so we can write this as a outer product a the tensor this outer product b this is the density operator corresponding to the composite system. Now what he is asking, so observe this carefully, this statement, show that the reduced density operator of a system A alone. Okay. So what is the meaning of this? Here we have density operator already corresponding to AB, that is rho AB equal to this one. We already have this uh, rho AB. But now we are going to find the density operator corresponding to the system A alone. So how to find? So I am going to represent that a density operator corresponding to the system A alone. So let it be rho A. How to get this? We have already the composite system density operator rho AB. And if you want to get the density operator corresponding to A alone, just tracing out the system B, that means this is nothing but tracing out the system B from the composite system AB. So what is the meaning of this? This is nothing but rho A is nothing but the trace tracing out B, okay, of uh, the composite system AB, that means, uh, sorry, rho AB. Okay, so, let's write this, tracing out B, what is this a combined density operator? We got this, A, outer product, tensor, B, outer product, or projector, whatever it is. Okay. So now we have to take the trace of B only. So that's why this uh, first system, that outer product or projector operator A as it is, and then tensor, this is a, a trace of B. Because here we are uh, taking the trace of the B only. So what is the trace of uh, inner product? Sorry, what is the trace of outer product? We know already the trace of outer product. A trace of uh, outer product is always equal to its corresponding uh, inner product. That means, for example, we have the trace of outer product psi1 psi2. Actually, outer product representation is uh, an operator. It's a square matrix. Okay. So, if you find it's a trace, always you will get the inner product. That is psi2 psi1 inner product. So, by using this, we can write this, uh, the trace of outer product B is nothing but the inner product B. So this inner product is nothing but a complex number, constant. So once you have the constant, this tensor product is not required. So this is nothing but uh, some constant. Of course, uh, B is a normalized state. This inner product is equal to 1, normalization condition. So from this, we got uh, A outer product A. So finally we can say whenever you have a composite system AB 
okay if you are finding the reduced density operator corresponding to any particular system that is nothing but uh, tracing out the other system from the composite system then always it represent a, a pure state so because already you have seen here this is the pure state so this represent a, a pure state actually they have given that is a pure state okay thank you right so in this question so they are asking to find the reduced density operator for each um, this um, each qubit of this uh, bell states okay so first uh, let me take a uh, one bell state so generally bell state b beta xy okay so for this if i take the red i mean a density operator which is nothing but beta xy beta xy output so let us suppose these are two first two qubits that is a x and x corresponding to the system a and this y corresponding to the system b let us suppose okay now uh, i will take one small example for this uh, beta xy i am taking it as a beta 0 0 which is nothing but 1 over root 2 0 0 okay plus 1 1 let me uh, do this problem for this uh, bell state okay please remember these uh, this 0 and 1 stands for this uh, system a and this uh, 0 and 1 belongs to the system b okay now i am going to find the density operator corresponding to this uh, composite system ab which is nothing but uh, this one beta 0 0 outer product beta 0 0 which is 1 by 2 okay so keta vector 0 0 plus 1 1 keta vector and again you have this bra vector 0 0 plus 1 1 let us multiply this and finally you will get 1 by 2 so just multiply these two states 0 0 0 0 0 state plus next one 0 0 1 1 plus 1 1 0 0 plus sorry 1 1 1 1 good so now uh, okay this is the a composite system density operator corresponding to the two, two qubits now let us suppose i would like to find the density operator corresponding to a that means corresponding to one qubit which is nothing but tracing out tracing out the system b out of uh, the composite system a b so this is nothing but trace of trace tracing out b from rho a b okay so already we have seen earlier so for this uh, first let me express this rho a of rho, rho a b in um, uh, the tensor product of uh, two individual qubits so for that rho a b oh, sorry rho a equal to tracing out b now i'm going to write this composite system okay as a uh, okay 1 by 2 out okay so now i'm going to split this see carefully so this is the uh, first qubit and this is the second qubit so we can write this as 0 0 this is the first qubit tensor second qubit right and similarly this is the first qubit a and this is the second qubit b so we can write this as 0 sorry 1 outer product tensor 0 1 okay next one more is there i mean two two more is there this is uh, next first qubit and second qubit so which is 1 0 tensor the next one 1 0 plus the last one this is first qubit and here we have second qubit which is nothing but 1 1 tensor outer product 1 now for this i am going to apply the trace trace over this b so only uh, this is the a system and this is the b and this corresponds to a or first qubit and this corresponds to second 
this is a and b and here it is a and this b so now i'm going to find uh, the, the trace of b okay so the trace of this outer product is nothing but inner product of 0 0 which is equal to 1 and if you take the trace of this system it is a uh, outer product 0 1 which is a uh, inner product of uh, 1 and 0 which is equal to 0 because orthogonal states and similarly this term also becomes 0 and uh, this term this trace trace of that outer product 1 1 equal to inner product 1 1 which is equal to 1 so by using that ortho normalizer condition we can write this as so row of a equal to here we got uh, 1 by 2 so 0 0 as it is after that tensor the trace of I am writing directly trace of that outer product equal to inner product plus and the next one outer product 0 1 tensor if you take the trace of that sec next outer product it is uh, inner product 1 0 plus uh, 1 0 outer product and after that if you take the third term that is inner product 0 1 plus if you see the fourth term tensor product that uh, inner product 1 1 so finally this inner product is a 0 and this inner product is 0 the middle two terms are a 0 only and finally we got row of a equal to okay so row of a equal to 1 by 2 outer product 0 and this is equal to 1 and this is also equal to 1 plus outer product 1 so I hope everybody know what is this uh, this is nothing but identity operator so we can write row of a equal to i by a 2 okay so if you observe carefully whenever you have bell state okay so bell state if you have uh, and finding the reduced density operator corresponding to any single qubit okay any uh, qubit we are getting i by 2 this answer somewhere we got so if you remember just to go back somewhere we got um, yeah this one here so in the earlier problem we have discussed this rho equal to i by 2 okay so i hope uh, you are observing this one rho equal to i by 2 so the row equal density operator uh, i by 2 corresponds to uh, which block vector r bar is equal to 0 that means uh, that represent the center of the block sphere okay so i think this this problem and that one both are related so if you take any any block uh, sorry any bell state okay so you will get the same answer that is this represent sorry this represent the center of the block sphere that means the block vector r bar is nothing but a zero here so this is a zero comma zero comma zero right thank you thanks for watching